How do we stop this? Why don't you stop? Why aren't you staying up? How do you stop? Hello, little buns. It is Steph. Welcome back to not my house. This is actually my parents' house. Uh, I don't live here, uh, but it's a beautiful place. So welcome to my parents' house. Hi, I have been on estrogen for three months now. It has been quite the journey and I want to bring you some of the things I've been noticing changes. You know, I just want to update you monthly, right? So this is the three month mark. We're going to talk about it. Before I get into all of the things I want to say, however, I do want to throw out three different disclaimers. The first being no two people will experience HRT the same way. So if you are also three months in estrogen and we're experiencing different things, it's not because either of us are wrong or either of us are doing badly, it's because our bodies are different, so we're going to experience different things. I also want to let you know that not everybody has to undergo HRT, it's something that if you want to do as a trans person you should, but I really don't want anybody to feel pressured to seek out any specific treatment when they're trans if it's not something that they want, okay? So if you fall under the trans umbrella but you do not want to pursue HRT, then I encourage you not to. But if you feel like it will increase your happiness or improve your quality of life, then I encourage you definitely to pursue HRT. And lastly, please do not use this video or any of my other transitioning videos as a guide to self-medicating transition. I am not a doctor, I'm not a teacher, I have not been to medical school, I cannot recommend to you what to do. That's not something that I have access to, that's not something that I can tell you. So please, if you want to self-medicate, do not look here. You can listen to my, to my story and listen to what I have to say, but I am not here to show you how to self-medicate. That's not what I'm doing, okay? I just get, I just take what my doctor gives me, okay? Okay, all right, okay. Okay, with that being said, let's jump into first what I am taking and what I have been taking. So I'm still on spironolactone. I will be until I get SRS, um, which was not anytime soon. So in here I have 100 milligram pills. I take these once a day, and then I also take once a day two milligrams of estrace. The estrace is very small and I usually lose it. Sometimes I've lost a few of them, oh no. That's okay, I don't have any pets that will take it and grow boobs, it's fine. I think very soon my doctor will double that dosage to four milligrams a day, but as of right now, I'm still on two. Now, I have been noticing changes in my breast growth still, like it's still happening. Okay, let me just, let me just get up in here somehow. So, I don't know if you can, do you, like there's a, you can see that sort of, right? It's just like a little, little bit of booby. <laughs> it's not extreme, like I don't have breasts yet I would say but I've got I definitely got breast tissue happening which is exciting and nice and fun they have I've not hit the super itchy stage yet which I'm not looking forward to because when I have itches I just scratch myself raw so I hope I don't experience that anytime soon but I know it's coming so I'm preparing myself for it they're very very sensitive like I'm sort of just pushing on my areolas right now and um well they're very sore you know Point is, they're very sensitive. Any kind of touch does really, I have to be careful. Um, sometimes I forget they're there and I'll do things, like I'll just like, I'll, I'll like, I don't know, I don't know why I would do this randomly, but sometimes I forget they're there and I just do this. I don't know why I do this. I don't know when, what the context is, but I've done this, okay? And I forget, I forget that I'm growing breasts and it like, oh, it hurts when I don't know what's happening and I, I can't protect myself, so that's the thing. So that's about it with the boob development. Emotionally, I feel like every single day it gets easier for me to get out of bed and to get ready and to be myself. Some days I still, and I had a lot of this early in transition and around the two month mark, I had a lot of this and it might have also been because it was winter time. I'm not a very happy person in the winter, but I had a lot of times where I would just lay in bed for like a long time, like until 5 p.m. I'd get out of bed and then I'd have some food and go back and it was like, I didn't like those days. Those are definitely days where I'm not feeling great about myself and I find every day it becomes a bit easier and I have less of those less frequently as time goes on while I'm on these these hormones. And I do definitely think that it has something to do with the hormones because it's, it's something that I know is improving my life. So I'm thankful for that, that emotionally I'm becoming much more consistently happy. <laughs> Skin has pretty much stayed the same. I find my face is getting softer, which is kind of nice. I have not had another laser appointment since the last time I, my last hormone update for my facial hair because I went to Florida and you're not supposed to be exposed to sun very close to your laser treatment because it can create pigmentation issues. It can create pigmentation issues, I suppose, which is not something that I really want on my face. So I'm going again in about a week or so, two weeks, something like that. I'm going to be using numbing cream this time because it's getting very painful, but I have exciting news. I've noticed a bald spot <laughs> on my face and it like, 
it, it shocks me every time I'm in the, a certain light because like I'll, I'll move my face and there's just one tiny little patch that's like so smooth. It's like a baby's butt. It's beautiful. And then the rest of my, my chin area is kind of like bumpy and whatever. Like I'm used to it. It didn't really bother me. But when I saw that spot, I was like, if that's what I have to look forward to, I am ready for it. Bring it on. Stick that fiery laser in my face. As much pain as I have to endure, I will to have my whole face looking like that. Oh my God. It was beautiful. So that's exciting. I noticed everything else is starting to become more sparse, but it's not extreme yet, just one bald spot, but I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Two treatments, one bald spot, it's pretty good, okay? I find, now I'm wearing um, fake nails right now. They're not like stick on, they're acrylics, um, which I didn't want, but the nail lady kind of pressured me, so I was like, fine, okay. And I love them, so it's fine. But um, I do notice that my natural nails grow a little bit harder than they used to, which is kind of nice. They're not going to now because I have these on and when I pull these off they're going to be brittle as a broken bone, but it's okay. Um, hair growth, my hair has always grown really fast, so I don't notice anything specifically different because of hormones. It is though when it's straight it's down just past my boob, which is kind of cool. Longest my hair has ever been in my life. Okay, so I told you about boobs, emotional, uh, skin and hair, nails. I, I do feel... Now that I'm on HRT, the months pass very quickly. Like I don't, I used to think that I'd be like, it'd be so long before I notice any changes. I would, it would be like forever. Nine months is such a long time. A year is such a long time. But I've already been on it for three months, and it feels like I got them yesterday. So it does happen much faster once you have it. Once you have them, oh my gosh, I can't articulate a sentence right now. Once you have the pills, if it's something you want life gets much easier. You think a lot less about getting them, about waiting for the changes, and they just start coming. So if you are pursuing HRT, I wish you all the best. I hope your doctor is good. I hope you get the pills you need. I hope everything works out for you because it really does help. So I've gone over all the changes I've experienced, everything like that. I do also want to touch on the GoFundMe that I created. As of right now, we are just under, and this is incredible. Like I, I get emotional about this every few hours, okay? We are at $18,500, which is, I can't explain how amazing that is, how quickly I, I'm just so grateful. I want to get emotional, but it's okay. Like, I I couldn't. I just there's. I I find it hard to talk about because I just could not believe the amount of support that I was given, and it it blew me away. And even if we stopped right now, like if I never gained another dollar from this from this fundraiser beyond eighteen thousand five hundred. That is a huge chunk of money that would be taken out of the costs of all my procedures, and it really means so much to me that you guys have helped me in such a physical way. It means the world, and I'm so grateful, and I love you all so much. Oh my gosh. So I kind of went over the cost breakdown of everything in my last two month estrogen update. If you want to look at that in detail, you can click down here on the annotation. Um, but I do want to briefly touch on something really kind of cool, is that SRS is going to cost me somewhere, I think it's about $32,000, including travel, lodgings, all this other stuff for my SRS, and we're about halfway there for one of them already, and that's amazing. So I think I can probably book it soon. I mean, it, I wouldn't get it soon, because first of all, the doctor's booked up right up his butt, so it would be sometime next year, for sure. But but just to be able to put down a down, like to put down whatever it is, like the, the deposit, and to have the slot, and to know that it's coming is gonna be amazing. So I think that's something I'm gonna look into very soon. So thank you all so much for supporting me in that way. It, it, it has changed the way I see the possibilities that I have and thank you you mean that it meant the world to me when I saw how fat like it just blew my mind I can't believe it okay I'm gonna go but until next time I will see you all later thank you so much again from the bottom of my heart for supporting me for coming here and viewing me for following my journey for all this stuff you are so important to me I love you so much I cannot even begin to explain how much you have impacted my life it is forever changed thank you I will see you next time. In the meantime, you know, in the in the, while I'm gone, you know, just you know, enjoy yourself, be yourself, be cool, be cool, chill. And I will see you again very soon. Thank you very much. Bye. Well, I just smacked myself in the face. Nice. <laughs>